Hey guys and welcome back to Mini Urban Farm, a channel about gardening and homesteading in the suburbs. By the end of this video, I'll share with you the best trellising vegetables that you can put in your garden. Let's go! Alright, so first up on the list and one of my absolute favorite things to grow are indeterminate tomatoes. Now there is definitely a difference between indeterminate tomatoes, which you can see growing on vines like this up the side of my trellis, um, versus like Roma tomatoes which are determinate varieties. But indeterminate tomatoes, like these grape tomatoes here, they are actually a vining fruit. So you can see we start here at the bottom and we have a whole bunch of little new growth. We also have a whole bunch of branches um, that were taken off by cutworms, so ignore that part. Um, but I have had so many tomatoes despite that fact. Um, and they will continue to produce flowers and produce fruit for as long as you allow them to do so and the weather conditions are good. So you can see I have a whole bunch of new flowers at the very, very top of this trellis. Um, we also have a whole bunch of flowers at the bottom of these plants as well, um, even on the other side over here. And so all of these are indeterminate tomatoes and I grow about two or three varieties of indeterminate tomatoes every season um, Because I just love them so much and you can see over here on one of my other trellises that has not been nearly as destroyed um, by pests this season um, We have a whole bunch of new growth topping um, this trellis even coming up through the trellis And then ultimately what will happen is these plants will be tied to this trellis and continue to grow all the way through here, providing a whole bunch of shade for the below plants. So another great one to grow is pole beans. And pole beans um, are one of my favorite things to grow also um, because they are just so easy to grow. They grow fast. And I love things that grow ridiculously fast. I mean, if you do not trellis pole beans for a couple of days, they will literally be growing up the side of your house. Um, and that has happened in this bed back here. All of that bushiness that you can see back here are pole beans. So pole beans do get pretty big. Um, I have them on this trellis here. They are currently about six feet or so. Um, and when they come up through the top of the trellis, what tends to happen is you have a whole bunch of bean plants coming through the trellis and ultimately you can just go and pick them as you want. Next up on the list are cucumbers, and these are cucumelons, um, which is these tiny little baby mouse melons, they're called, um, or cucumelons if you want. Um, they're actually, I think, called sour gherkins, but you can see a whole bunch of little flowers there on them. Um, and they are a great vining <laughs> vegetable to grow. If you can see, I mean, this is just sprawling. All of these are like coming out into um, the middle of the garden, all the little tendrils or whatever I think they're called that um, but they are just like non-stop now this is eight plants right so I have um, four there and then I have four on the other side um, you can see a lot of the the growth from overwatering is kind of brown and dead but the new growth up here is all bright green which is the perfect color for them um, and you can see I mean this is just a mess of cucumbers so I have gotten I don't know how many little baby cucumelons but this is I mean this is the epitome of what a trellising vegetable looks like right so they love the Sun you can see they're doing really really well here on this side of the garden and I mean you just come in here and then you pick all of your fruit all right, so another great one to grow is actually loofah. And I think a lot of people haven't heard of loofah or if they have, you know, they're thinking about like loofah that you use on your body when you're taking a shower. And that's actually a vegetable, right? So if you're talking about like a loofah made of plastic, that's of course not a vegetable. But this behind me, is a vegetable and the the vegetable that I'm talking about you can actually dry it out um, and then cut it up and use it as a sponge to exfoliate your body you can use it um, in the kitchen as sponges and that is a vegetable you can also eat it when it's young so this amazing plant which is currently climbing up the side of my window trying to get onto the roof um, is lufa so we have these bright yellow flowers which actually just started to bloom this morning I was really excited to see them in the garden today and there's a whole another cluster of them um, behind that flower. So this, as you can tell, um, has these little tendrils that come out and they just kind of like reach the same way cucumbers work. Um, they are much bigger than the cucumelons I have, of course, because it's a much bigger um, plant. This is one plant and then there's another one climbing up on that side, as you can see. But I mean, look at the massive vines. So definitely look at is something you want to have a lot of space for you know if you have the space i would definitely say try growing it it's an it's an amazing thing to add 
to your garden. Now, I will say this is my absolute first time growing loofah, but I am really excited um, to see how these, you know, get used and dried out and all of that. I mean, they are just absolutely beautiful. It did take a while for loofah to, I mean, to get to this stage. You know, I have had a lot of other fruits and vegetables from this garden so far, and yet, you know, this, this is the first loofah flower I've seen. But if you have the time and the space, I'm really excited to see how this is gonna turn out. All right, so another great trellising vegetable is actually squash. So this is zucchini, and I actually have yellow squash growing in the same garden bed. Um, you can trellis them. I have chosen to not trellis them, but if you were to trellis them, um, like I've done in the past, you take these, you know, new growth, and you kind of just like wrap these, you know, through the string, and you pull them up um, by the trellis. Or you can, you know, take the entire vine in the middle here. There's like this center, stock if you can see it in here um, there's a center stock coming right through here and you can take that and kind of like prop it up on the trellis now you can do this for acorn squash you can do this for butternut squash you can do this for summer squash um, i will say it is definitely much easier to do it with like butternut squash or something that grows specifically on thin vines you know these kind of have like these center stalks in the middle which still makes it possible um, to trellis them but last season i grew butternut squash which just really worked out very well for a trellis so next up on the list is Malabar spinach and Malabar spinach is actually not spinach at all It resembles spinach, which is why it's called, you know, Malabar spinach But technically it is a completely different type of green They do get really big and they grow really fast So if that is something that you are into, right? I know I am not a patient person I love growing things that grow really really fast um, Malabar spinach actually grows in the heat um, And if you can see, you know, the the camera is almost blown out by the amount of sun right now um, It is about 95 uh, degrees outside currently and you know I live in central Florida so you know finding things that grow really well in the heat um, especially for salad greens is a big thing you know I love growing salad greens but at the end of the day you can only grow salad greens during certain parts of the year right I mean spinach only is to be grown um, in fall and winter here so then growing Malabar spinach which has a very similar taste is a great way to grow salad greens in the summer all right, so hopefully that's given you some great ideas for your urban garden vegetable trellises. Um, I know I love using trellises in the garden and growing these things on your trellises will really save you a ton of space and provide shade for whatever is growing underneath. If you have other vegetables that you also love growing on the trellis, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this one, you're probably gonna like this other video up on the screen here right now. So go check that one out and I will see you in the next one. Bye.